Hey guys. Today I thought we could hang out and do some plant chores, get some kind of plant home related things done today. But my original plan here, my to-do list was to repot my grandma's begonia because I need to move it. It's too getting too tall to live on my dresser. So I'm gonna up pot it so it can live on the floor without as much likelihood of it tipping over. Okay, so yes, I did move this plant downstairs just to show you this little clip, but it is leaning quite a bit. I think you can kind of tell, and it is pretty top heavy for the size of planter that my grandma planted this in, and it did just finish blooming. So that is the side note. That is the side note. I just kind of wanted to <laughs> give you a little look at this and see what we're gonna be focusing on in probably the next video. And let's get into the rest of today's video though. Um, the boys and I just got home from, we went to four different places trying to find a planter for this thing and I wasn't able to find anything, but I did find a few other things. Of course, it's impossible for me to not find something it seems like. I guess I'll show you a little bit of a haul of the things I picked up earlier when we were going to all those stores. First up is this little vase. I think it's really cute. I'm definitely going to put a plant in it. I really like the color and the shape. So thought it was a good little, I'm gonna call it a planter, although it probably isn't really a planter. It's probably more of like a vase because there's no drainage hole, but you know what? We're gonna use it as a planter. I found this vase, it's labeled as a vase, but it's a planter. I really like it. I think it's pretty cool that the shape is a little bit different down here than just like a regular planter. I love the color. It's creamish with some like speckling throughout it. So I think a plant will look nice in here. The last thing I found, this little terrarium thing, which I freaking love. The top is like a cork ball. So I think it's gonna be really cool and I'm excited. Very, very cool. So those were my finds. What'd you think? I think they were pretty good, although I'm probably a little biased. <laughs> With all that knocked out, let's make a new to-do list for today. Um, to do. Fix the light in my Ikea cabinet. It keeps falling down. New sauce for Spidey. No, you don't need it, Kay. Are you hungry? There are a few plants, actually this right here. I have a few plants that I need to spray down with my Mealybug eradication mix. Um, just a few plants that it's still an issue that I am battling. So we're gonna battle onward together. It's just so much more fun if we do it together, you know? I mean, it's fun anyway, which is more fun. Okay, so first step is to fix this little doodah. <laughs> it is very covered in duct tape because I've been just trying to duct tape it until I was able to get around to this. Here we are, it's happening, we're good. Okay, so just gotta pull all this off to start off. Get some scissors. Yeah, I'm having a really, really hard time getting this light to stay for some reason. Oh gosh, I do not wanna cut the cord, that would be bad. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping that just switching out the Velcro. Okay, I guess pull these ones off. I hope that these ones stick a lot better than last time. It's weird because usually I feel like they stick a lot better, but in this situation they have not stuck better. The blue one? Okay. Much better. Now that the light's fixed in my terrarium, I am going to feed my little bugs. I feed them roughly once a week. Everything I give to them is from Reptanicals, which is where I got my bugs. And you guys, I've really enjoyed watching these. I, I don't know if bugs are everybody's flavor, but like I really, really enjoy sitting here watching them. I especially enjoy my dairy cow isopods because they're huge. They run around really fast and they're like pretty active. So 
it's been a really good time like watching them grow and interact with the terrarium that I set up. You probably want to see some of the plants in here. So a couple of my favorites, maybe I should do a full update terrarium like week of care video so I can show you what I do for it and like how easy it really is. Obviously with the light falling off repeatedly, you know, I'm having issues up toward the top where the light was falling off and like hitting some of the plants, but especially on the lower half, things are doing really, really well. Particularly this Mark Gravia Sintonesii, which has grown so, so much since I put it in here. You can see how small the leaves were at the base of this plant. And now they've gotten really big and it's crawling all over the place, which is really fun. I was definitely hoping this would take over and it kind of seems like it's going to. Another favorite of mine is the ficus villosa because again, it is climbing all over and there's a cute little mushroom <laughs> growing next to it. Yeah, this begonia darth vidariana is kind of melting. And I think it's because this philodendron glorious keeps like tipping over on it. So I'm just gonna take take a pin, bend it in half and like hold this plant in place so that gr it grows around the Darth Vidariana instead of through the Darth Vidariana. And hopefully it'll do better now. So that is my terrarium. Love it a lot. Have a lot of good time sitting here, just staring at my bugs and my plants, tinkering around with it. You guys know I'm a tinkerer. <laughs> So we are done with that, but another to-do list item is to water my little spider plant babies. And I thought I'd give you a little update on them. So these are the Bonnie spider plants I propagated in my how to propagate spider plants video. I will link it if you're interested in watching, but here's a before of these plants. And here they are now. So especially this larger one is the water propagation one. And the smaller plant is full of substrate propagated ones. You might be thinking that the water propagations did better, but I don't actually think that this is because they were propagated in water. I think it's because this is a plant that doesn't really like to dry out. And I've had the substrate props pot in a small little terracotta saucer, which I can't barely water this thing <laughs> because the saucer fills up too fast. Whereas the water propagation I have in a lot larger like crystal vessel so it can hold a lot more water. I am able to like more thoroughly water it. So it's been growing so, so much better. I'm gonna grab another little crystal dish that I can use for the other pot because I need to not do the terracotta thing. It's just not working for this plant. So here's the little dish I'm gonna use. I think it's pretty cute. It is still lot smaller than the other one, but it is going to hold enough water for me to be able to adequately saturate it in water. And that is all we need. going to give them a little water and I will keep you posted on these. They've come such a long way in such a short time. It's pretty exciting. I love propagating spider plants. So now that that's all taken care of, let's go mix up some mealybug spray to hopefully get rid of these freaking bad, bad, bad boys mealybugs. Got my spray bottle here. I'm going to show you what solution I'm going to use to kill the mealies. A little bit of dish soap. Two parts-ish isopropyl alcohol. This flight is driving me nuts. And then I'm just going to fill it up the rest of the way with water. And let's spray some little buggies, some annoying little buggies. I should spray this fly. I should. Actually, that's smart. Where'd it go? Oh, did you see that? Oh wow, he lived. Bro, it got him. <coughs> okay, now I need to crush him so he doesn't suffer. I just realized that I haven't shown you guys my office. Well, it's kind of an office. It's my unfinished basement. We're starting to get it finished. It's not all the way, hence the lack of trim around the doors and on the ground. Let me show you something. So this is my abutilon. It's kind of uh, leaning a little weird, I think because of how I have it orientated, oriented on the window. I'm planning to trim this up and also repot it into a better planter here soon. Like look at how pretty that is when it's just standing straight up. Maybe I'm going to trellis it. I don't know, but I do really love this plant mostly because I love the blooms and it is a very prolific bloomer. Like it's just constantly blooming and look at all of those buds ready to go. You, I, I mean, you can see I'm not being dramatic. It blooms constantly. It's been blooming like this since I brought it home. So I really love this plant. I really love this plant. And this is a south window. That's my little, that's our little office. 
room. I really like it. It has made things so much easier around here working from home. All right. I'm so excited to be here finally. All right, friends, we're here. So I'm gonna start with my problem plants and really, really douse them. This is one of my worst plants right now and it is my Hoya Crinkle 8. So I'm just setting it on this boot tray, dousing every leaf really, really well. Yeah, there's some mealies right there. It is really important to spray the undersides because usually that's where the small ones hide, the babies. So gotta spray the undersides too. I'm gonna get a little video to show you up close. I am definitely at the point in this infestation. This probably is diluted less than it should be, the rubbing alcohol. At this point, it's like either my plants, they're going to get ate up by mealy bugs or they're gonna get burned by this. And at this point, I'd rather they get burned by this so I can just be done with the issue and not have to think about it anymore. I, I'm being dramatic. It's not going to burn them, but I am definitely like laying it on really thick, not being as careful as I normally would. Um, just because I am at my freaking wits end with these mealies. If any of you that follow me on Instagram <laughs> may have seen back in like, gosh, was it March, February? I found mealy bugs on my Hoya polyneura here, which is probably where this all started. Ooh, it feels so good when you spray them and they turn orange. All that fluffy stuff just melts away. That's how I know I got them. I have a feeling that these are like under, like there, it's there. I really feel like in the next month or so, I can start breathing a little bit down here and like doing more kind of fun stuff instead of pest treatments. <laughs> this has just occupied my mind for so long. I, I'm seeing them on less and less plants and I'm treating everything like very consistently right now because I'm almost there. So now's the time, leave your comment, cast your vote. Do you think do you think I'm gonna have them under control by this time next month? <laughs> if you ask me, yes. The mealies themselves might have a different answer. <laughs> I am not even going to rinse it. I'm just going to let it sit overnight because I want these guys, they need to suffocate. So I'm just gonna let this foamy stuff sit there so that they can suffocate. And the grow lights are gonna go off in about an hour anyway, so I'm not too worried about them getting burned. The plants, I mean. My Hoya Crimson Queen. This is one of the worst ones, like probably top two worst ones. Um, two things, it's the next day, <laughs> hey. And I appear to have lost my Mike puffball thing. Oh, I found it. This thing. Woo. Anyway, it is the next day and actually the morning that you're watching this video. <laughs> yes, I am behind on my filming schedule. We're working on that, okay? Um, I got distracted making a reel last night. So all of my equipment died. So all of my equipment died and I couldn't finish filming after that. So let me just show you. Ooh, I still have freaking mealies. This is the Crinkle 8 that I was spraying yesterday. I'm gonna give it another good spray. Oh wait, actually I think those are dead. Oh my gosh, yeah, we're good, we're good. False alarm, friends. Anywho, the point was that I am, I'm just gonna be coming down here every day like I do. I'm just gonna continue coming down here every day to spray my plants. After a few days, I will be taking my plants that I spray down with this into the shower or sink and spray the plants off really, really well. But honestly, I really think I'm at the tail end of my mealybug experience. It's, it really feels like it's letting up and I know it looks bad and it's, I don't think it's as bad as it seems because especially compared <laughs> to where it started or like where it was before I started to get a hand on it, I feel like me, the mealies are in a pretty good place right now. <laughs> So yeah, that's what me and Bismarck have to say about that. I hope you liked this video. If you have any like video requests of things you'd like to see or you're curious about in my plant keeping or, you know, really anything, I'm open to sharing anything on this channel, uh, then please leave a comment. And thank you so much for being here. You guys, I'm sick, so I don't know how this is going to go, but 
that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!